Have you ever wondered how our world began? This question is basically the biggest unknown question known to mankind. Maybe after what happens after death. Even though I believe in God like many other people, there is one scientific theory that has stuck through generations on how our universe was created. This theory even became more popular after the hit CBS show took the name. That's right, in this episode we'll be talking about the Big Bang Theory. Come on, stop the music guys. To think in simpler terms, the Big Bang Theory states that the universe was created like a balloon. Space just started to expand rapidly, and the universe was created. It may be hard to understand, but space was expanding from nothing. The second the universe was created, scientists believe the surrounding temperature was 10 billion degrees Fahrenheit. As the universe started to cool, particles such as neutrons, protons, and electrons started to form, which eventually combined together to form all mass known to man. Scientists believe this event, or the start of our universe, happened about 13.73 billion years ago. But how can we guess how old the universe is, you may ask? It's because of a substance called Cosmic Microwave Background, aka CMB. CMB is what we call leftover radiation after the Big Bang. It's an invisible substance that flows around the entire universe. However, since we know how cold it is, it has to be for the substance to exist, which is about 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. We have data that CMB must have existed 400,000 years after the Big Bang. By studying the CMB, scientists have figured out an estimate of the date the Big Bang happened. Then, only about 4.6 billion years ago, our solar system started to form. It started to form as a cloud of dust and gas known as a solar nebula. We know an average because of the study of meteorites known to be the oldest matter in our solar system. Even if you don't believe in this theory, which I can understand why, it's still interesting to understand the scientific way we percept our world. I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Science Kid. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And check out all my other videos. I have a ton of different science videos on a ton of different topics. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, science can always be fun.